Well, it's a Monday morning and here we are back with the Jigsaw BSA A65 engine. And I'm just at a stage now where I'm considering fitting the pistons and getting ready to fit the cylinder barrels. If, assuming that the pistons and rings and everything gap and fit as they should in the bores, of course. But I've also run into some dilemmas. There's the four cam followers there that were just scattered around in the Quality Street box. Well, I suppose the odds are very low of getting them all in the same order, the same positions as they were in last time the engine was together, so um, I'll just have to fit those and hope for the best, I suppose. I guess a team of forensics might just about be able to work, work out which way, which one corresponds to which lobe on the camshaft, but... Um, I think that's a little bit beyond me, so I'll just be cleaning them up and putting them back in the uh, in their tunnels in the cylinder barrel there. Now the other intriguing thing, I was going to fit the pistons to the con rods next, and I noticed that I'm going to need some piston circlips. But these pistons were in the cylinder barrels as we see them now, and I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just mark them now whether whether we can see that, I've got L for left and an arrow pointing forwards and R for right and an arrow pointing forwards because that's how they were in the cylinder barrels when I lifted them out the cardboard box but the strange thing is unless he's some sort of magician who ever took this thing apart there's a circlip left where are we? in the outside now normally, when I'm stripping a twin cylinder engine down, the circlips on the outside are the easiest to get at. But we've got the inside one has been taken out. And if we go to the right piston, same sort of story. There's a circlip left in the outside. And the circlip from the inside is gone. So I have a hunch that really that is from the right hand side and that is from the left hand side. So I'm going to look carefully at them and at the bores and see if I can see anything to suggest that. Um, but I'm strongly tempted to actually switch those pistons side to side and put them uh, in each other's bores. And I'm, I don't really sort of believe that they were actually fitted that way round, just going by the uh, circlet positions. The other thing, of course, that could be the case is perhaps they were actually that way round, in which case everything would be okay. But then you've got more sort of black around where the inlet valve area is, and that's cleaner where the exhaust valves would be, but even that, it all depends who sort of took the pistons out and how well they cleaned them, etc. It's just very difficult to say, although the oversizes, the plus 60s, I don't know if you can see them there perhaps, they are the way up that I would expect them to be, but it's all very difficult to know for sure. So I'm going to have to do a bit of head scratching here and come back to this. And uh, hopefully, at some point, I'll have decided, if they're up to it, which way round and which side I'm going to fit those pistons and crack on and get the cylinder barrels on. All being well, as I often say.